What's going on, Monster Truck fans? And welcome to another exciting episode of Scissor TV. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're hanging out with us, and I thank you for that. If you're looking for intense, high-speed, miniature, monster truck crashing, smashing, slipstream, drifting action, you, my friend, have come to the right place because we have another exciting adventure in Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. So, before we get into this high-speed monster truck action, make sure you're subbed to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and smash that like button. But enough talking, let's get into the action, so let's get ready to monster! What's going on, Hot Wheels Monster Truck fans? I'm so excited you have decided to join us for another playthrough of Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. We're gonna get right into the action with a quick race with none other than everyone's favorite fireman, Five Alarm. Three, two, one, go! All right, Five Alarm is off to an amazing start, getting lots of speed boosting and drifting in those corners. And look who we have on the racetrack today. I think that's Bone Shaker I saw behind us in Hot Wheels Demolition Derby. So we've got three monster trucks racing right now on this Hot Wheels track. Right now, Five Alarm is moving his way from six, trying to get fifth place and catch up to that number one. All right, and Power Pro has just been eliminated. Guys, this is an elimination race. That means, as you see that timer at the top go down, our racers have a limited amount of time to get their butts in gear from the back to the front. Otherwise, it's see ya, and you're out of here. We don't want that to happen to Five Alarm, that's for sure. And with him up in second place, there is no chance of that happening right now. But let's see who's about to be eliminated, and it is Bone Shaker! All right, Bone Shaker, we're gonna seal! Now we're only down to about eight or nine racers. We've got five alarms in first place, but splitting image number two is right behind him. And goodbye to Riveted and BMW 3.0. We'll seal! Five Alarm is still holding on to that first place, but bad to the blade and splitting image two are fighting for second and third, hoping to overtake him. But if he continues to use his boost and drift in and out of these turns, I think there is little chance of that. And we just saw Hot Wheels Demo Derby get eliminated, so we'll see him. All right, and two more are gone. We've got a total of only four racers left. It is still five alarm in first place with Mad to the Blade pulling up in the second. And oh, Sports Cycle was just eliminated. Hey, Sports Cycle. All right, we're down to our final three. Five Alarm just needs to stay in first place for about 10 more seconds to pull out this elimination win. Can he do it? Two, one, go! All right, and that is gonna be a big W for Five Alarm. Let's go! So in your first place, you got Five Alarm, then you got little weird looking Batmobile and gray and red Batmobile. They're not winners, so I'm not gonna learn their name. Oh, and we got some experience that leveled us all the way up to level seven. All right, let's see what we get for beating that. Oh, nice, some coins, some more experience. And that's gonna put us about a third of the way towards level eight. All right, it looks like we're moving to our next race now, and it's gonna be in the backyard, and it's a waypoint race. So, you see that big blue glowing cylinder in front of Five Alarm? Well, there's a whole lot of those scattered across the course, and he has to drive through every single one. So there's a total of 14 waypoints that Five Alarm has to navigate his way around the course and make sure that he touches them all. 
Now, Five Alarm can go around the course any way he sees fit, whatever order he thinks is best to hit these in, but he must touch them all. Oh, and a nice jump over some fertilizer to get that one. Here comes a big U-turn. Oh, right, nice drift. Was able to avoid that chair. Going up the track, and I think he's going up to the second floor. And now we're on the deck. Oh, another big jump into the corner, turns it around. Can he keep it going? He does. Only loses a little bit of speed. As you can see, the goal time we're shooting for is 1 minute and 25 seconds. That's the unleash time, the absolute best that 5 Alarm can do. But if he at least does it in 1 minute and 35 seconds, we'll take that too because that'll complete the course and we'll be able to continue on through the race. Huge air down those steps. You gotta love it. Coming to the end, and here we go. Five Alarm made that look easy. He did it with over five seconds to spare. There's your winner, everyone's favorite fire truck, Five Alarm. And let's see what we got. We got some coins and some more experience. We are well on our way to leveling up to eight. All right, so our next race is gonna be taking us back to everyone's favorite natural history museum. This is that really cool one with lots of dinosaurs that I know we love seeing and we love driving past. If you guys love dinosaurs, make sure you smash that like button. All right, we see that Five Alarm is already off to a great start. He's in the middle of the pack trying to muscle his way up to first, pushing those other cars out of the way, trying to use those big old DKT tires to take first place. Right now, it looked like it's between him and Hot Wheels Prototype version two, but no, he just took him over, getting ready for some big air. Oh, ho, ho, right between that Tyrannosaurus Rex's legs. That was so awesome. All right, let's see if we can time the boulder. Yes, yes, right through it, not a problem. Five alarm expertly goes right past that swinging boulder. Oh, didn't quite get the drifty one in there, but that's okay, because there's a whole lot of corners he'll be able to hit another one in. That was a beautiful drift with some medium air. All right, we're on the ground. Man, did you see how big that T-Rex's feet are? Oh, knocking over some, I think those were boxes with dinosaur fossils in them, maybe? Getting a ton of speed by hitting that green boost, getting our energy back on the blue track, and it's just so fast, I almost can't tell what's going on. It's crazy that Five Alarm is able to control that giant monster truck he's driving when he's going so darn fast. Now, right now, we still have Five Alarm in first place with Hot Wheels Prototype 12 in second and way too fast in third. So long as Five Alarm keeps drifting, driving, and let's see this jump. Oh, a beautiful jump. So like I was saying, so long as Five Alarm basically just keeps racing the way he is, he's got no problem with this. All right, and expertly drives right past that Indiana Jones looking swinging boulder. Hitting that middle track to get the green and go fast. Need to build up some more boost by drifting through this turn. Oh, and some nice medium air as we go through those T-Rex's legs again. And oh, look at that. He knew exactly where to turn, so he cut that corner even smaller to shave off another couple of seconds. And you look, you look behind him, and guess what? No one. That's how far ahead Five Alarm is right now, because Blazing speed! All right, and here we go, guys. It's our final lap. Five Alarm just needs to maintain his lead, and he's going home a winner. Oh, no! Just got the corner, and that's all everyone needed. He has dropped all the way to sixth place. Can he get back to the front of the pack? 
All right, he's coming up on Ma Mountain Mauler. All right, he's just got to get past way too fast. And yes, he has back where he belongs in first place, but way too fast is right on his tail. He cannot afford to make any more mistakes this late in the game. Oh, smashing into that guardrail. Great drift around the corner, picking up some boost. Let's see how he does here. Expertly done. Great job, Five Alarm. Let's see if he cuts this turn again. Oh, and he does. Look at that. It shows that he learns and adapts every single lap, and that's what makes Five Alarm such an amazing monster truck driver. All right, he's keeping that boost and that speed going. If he can maintain this, he'll stay in front of way too fast. I see the finish line coming up and yes, there you go. Five Alarm is your first place winner. We got Five Alarm in first. We've got way too fast in second and Hot Wheels prototype number 12 and third. There's your podium, guys, as we collect our experience and we go all the way up to level eight. Let's go. And we just got more experience and two skill points. Remember, we can use those skill points and coins. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, we completed the challenge from last week. Oh my goodness. We just got so much cool stuff. I am telling you guys, that is one thing I am loving about this game. And that's the fact that every single time we complete or win a race, we get something. All right, next we're taking five alarm into the arcade, and this is a time attack. All right, so it looks like the unleashed goal is two minutes and 38 seconds, while just the regular goal time is two minutes and 46. Hopefully, Five Alarm has brought his A game, and those big old BKT tires are ready to spin fast so he can beat that unleashed time. All right, he's doing it. Whoa! Lots of air and some more big air with a corkscrew. You gotta love to see that. He is drifting like a champ and maintaining that boost, taking these corners nice and tight. So far, with about 25% of this race down, I think Five Alarm is doing an excellent job. Looks like we've got a big old loop de loop coming up. Oh, all right. Oh, no. Obviously, you want to stay on the green five alarms. That's what makes you go faster. Excellent way to take that turn. Some more air right over. What is, was that an air hockey table? Whoa, what is this? Oh, oh, and are we upside down on a snake? Oh, and now we're underneath the air hockey table. I gotta say, I love the variety of courses in this game. It's so much fun. It's a more giant air. All right, get on that green. Oh, looks like it's about to change. Oh, there we go in the center, drifting around. Five Alarm doing a great job. And a... Whoa, a giant cannon. I think this course has everything. And I think I just saw a volcano over there. Oh, look at all those super cool arcade games. I don't know, I think a lot of you kids are going to have to ask your parents about that one. Sadly, not too many arcades left around nowadays. All right, Five Alarm is drifting excellently in that corner. Oh, we got a snake. Is he going to make it? Yes! Oh, yeah, there, there is a volcano. Nice loop to loop. Oh, he lost quite a bit of speed, but he was able to pick it back up. 95% done and looking good. Hopefully he's going to be able to beat that unleashed time. And here we go. Oh, and he did came in right underneath the wire. I think that was two minutes and 36 seconds, which is gonna knock out both the goal and unleashed time. Yes, he did. And he got some more coins, experience, and 
we are well on our way to level nine. And it looks like our next race will also be in the arcade, which actually I'm pretty excited about. It's gonna be a quick race, so let's see how Five Alarm stacks up to all these other racers. Two, one, go! All right, and Five Alarm is off to an excellent start. Whoa, some big corkscrew air showing off right in the beginning. Looks like we're taking it to the floor of the arcade. You can see the game. Oh no, Five Alarm, come on, buddy. Oh, and that is gonna drop him all the way to last place, but thankfully he can see the majority of the pack and he is trying to fight his way back to the front. All right, sixth place with some big old air. And Five Alarm is already fighting for second and first place. And there we go, Five Alarm in your number one spot. Hopefully he can maintain it as he expertly navigates under each one of these chairs. Get ready to go up a big old ramp. All oh, sorts of speed as he's coming up to a giant loop. All right, staying in the center of the track so he picks up even more speed. Nice jump up the stairs. Oh, and look at how well he took that corner. It looked like the other racers, GT Scorcher and BMW 3.0 are right on his tail. And now we're on lap number two with another big barrel roll. That is gutsy a five alarm to do, knowing that the second and third place racers are right behind him. Perfect drift around that corner to catch that speed, going for another big drift, hitting some boost, hitting that green boost, and he's still going. Beautiful air lands it perfectly, oh! Lost control of the drift there for a little bit, hit the wall, but that is okay. Five Alarm has maintained his speed and regained control. I tell you, you have to hand it to Five Alarm. He is driving that gigantic monster truck around the track, expertly drifting, while there's a lot of other smaller, and some would say more nimble vehicles behind him, but he, is keeping that first place. Look at all that air! Oh, he slowed down, but thankfully he had some boost and he was able to get it back. And you can see for just a short time, he actually dropped to second place. Oh, looks like he's putting a little bit of uh, <sighs> that third time's a charm, baby. You knew he wasn't gonna disappoint on that jump. is doing a great job of using boost where it is most going to benefit him. Drifting and boosting out of those curves and you can just see as he made that turn, all the other racers are not far behind him. You've got GT Scorcher and BMW 3.0 hot on the heels of Five Alarm. But if there's one thing this monster truck can do and that is put out of fire. So he's not too worried about how he did this race kids. He can remain calm and cool under pressure. Coming up to one of the last big loops here. Hopefully he can stay in the center of the track. Oh, and he does to not only maintain speed, but I think picks him up and he must have just flown half the way across the course right there. That was awesome. Some more big air, we can see the finish line, and here we go! Oh yes, let's go! Five Alarm is your winner, first place, baby. Five Alarm taken first, we've got GT Scorcher in second, and Hot Wheels Surf Turf in third. And of course, we just earned a cool 500 experience. All right, and more coins, experience, and a part of the arcade. And oh, there we go. We are level nine, baby. 
All right, I think we have time for one more race, and it's a big one. It's a boss battle, and we're gonna be facing off against a giant scorpion. This is almost too much. All right, Five Alarm, you got this, buddy. Two, one, go! All right, and if you guys remember the last boss battle, oh, the way we defeat the giant scorpion is by destroying the obstacles he puts on the track. We have to make sure that we are going fast enough to hit each and every one until that meter on the top fills up. All right, we've got 17 more obstacles to destroy in order to defeat the scorpion. All right, Five Alarm is getting a lot of speed. Oh, a nice jump to get that target. Great job, Five Alarm. Oh, we've got, is that a Stegosaurus? Oh, that almost distracted him, but Five Alarm is a professional, and he's not gonna let a dinosaur distract him from his mission. He's hunting scorpions. Oh, 13 more to go. Lost a little bit. Nice jump to get that. We've got 12 more to go as we drive around this diner. You can see the jukebox. Oh, that one was close. Ten. Oh, as we're going into the next lap, you just saw us go underneath that scorpion's legs. Oh, and look at that jump. Ooh, whoo, that was close. Hit the wall, but was able to knock out the target. We've got eight to go to defeat this scorpion. Oh, seven left. Oh, we've actually ran through some of the scorpion's venom. Oh, you can see that five alarm was covered in purple and was unable to use his boost. Woo, that one was close. Six left, boys and girls. We can do this. Let's go, five alarm. We believe in you. Oh, we've got so much speed going. Five Alarm needs to drift a little better between those corners. Four. Three more, guys. Three more. Two. Five Alarm's going to really need to pick up the pace to get these last two obstacles. And guys, there's only one left to defeat the Scorpion. Can Five Alarm do it? Oh, there it is. He's got to get that speed up, get that boost in. Yes! Five Alarm defeats the giant Scorpion. Was there ever any doubt this truck can do it all? And we've got 500 more experience, guys, with a defeated scorpion. You love to see it getting a couple more coins, some experience, and a piece of that diner. All right, guys, one thing before we go, let's check this. Oh, what is Bone Shaker? Oh, yes, we are definitely getting this one. And I think maybe on our next episode, that's who we're going to be racing with. That was awesome. Oh, Bone Shaker is so cool. I can't wait to race with him next week. Any more? Any more? Oh, that was the only monster truck. But, man, I am not going to complain because Bone Shaker is one of our favorites. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out on this second episode of Hot Wheels as we play through the entire game. It was so much fun, and I couldn't have done it without you. Make sure you're tuning into the channel throughout the week because we have got three videos every week now, two Monster Jam and one Hot Wheels. So remember, guys, be good to each other and always treat others how you would want to be treated. So until next time, we'll see ya!